hello guys uh, this is a quick video on how to set up your mt4 or your mobile phone uh, whether you're using android phone or you're using the iphone any of them you can quickly set it up on your phone and then you can start to edit immediately okay all right so with this video i'm going to cover how to uh, place a trade on your smartphone okay, let's jump right into it so the first you're going to do is to go to uh, your app store or your play store and download the app we call mt4 meaning meta trader 4 so once you download it uh, then it opens up like this okay so you have the app opens up like this This area is called the market watch okay this area is called market watch and this is where you see the quotes okay then this uh, other area here this button as you can see this first button is the market watch. The second button is called the chart area. And this is where you get to see charts. And this is where you get, get to analyze the market. And then this third button here is called the trade or the terminal. Okay. And of course, this other button is called the account history. So, account history. So, back to the market watch. So, the first thing you want to do is to log into an account and the account you're going to log into is going to be a real account or a demo account so so but before coming here to log in you must have created the account with your broker whether a real account or a demo account so this the, the same step for logging in to a real account the same step for logging into a demo account so quick one so please follow the mouse pointer as i'm moving on the screen here so you go to this mt4 icon here so you click there, then it opens up like this. Then you click manage account to log in. Then you click on this plus at the top right here. So once you click at that plus at the top right, then it opens up something like this. So here you want to see open a demo account and log into an existing account. So because you have already created the account, okay, so you have to you have to open your email, uh, search for mails from uh, from your broker, so which you will see mt4 real account or mt4 demo account so open any of them you're going to see the user which is the account number and of course the password so you copy the account number and password then come to this place so you have to click on login to an existing account here so you have to find the broker so you just click here find the broker any broker you want to trade with so let's say we are trading with rally trade now so you type a -L -A -L -L -Y. you're going to see the reality real and reality demo so just any broker you want to trade with you type in and then you search okay then you then finally you 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 have to put in the the details which is the account number here and the password and you click on sign it so that's all so let me quickly show you how you can be able to place a trade all right so this area is called the chart area sorry this area is called the market watch so on this market watch you click on this plus at the top right on the top right so once you click you're going to take it to areas and folders where you can see all your financial instrument inside so any of the financial instruments you want to trade you come here and look for them for example you're going to see forest standard std you click any of the instruments that you want to trade you click on them and then they will disappear and appear on the market watch okay so uh let's say i want to do precious metal i've already added my gold and the silver let's say i want to do platinum uh, palladium you can click it will disappear and then appear okay so any of these instruments you want to trade you come here you look for them and then you click let's say i want to trade us 100 i'll click on it it will disappear so the rest of the instrument i've already added them so let me go back to my to my chart to my market watch again <laughs> Alright, so uh, on this area, you are to look for the instrument you want to trade. Okay, let's say you want to do a trade on uh, USD pair. So let's say Euro USD for example. So you carefully look for Euro USD. This is Euro USD. The first thing you're going to do here on this market watch is to click on it. Now, once you click on it, it brings out a dialog box on this dialog box you will see new order you see open chart obviously you want to click on open chart first so they can see the chart so i've just done that this is open chart so this is how the chart looks like all right so uh but because we, i'm not covering how to analyze the market and now of course i'm not covering technical analysis fundamental analysis just show you how to place a trade so this is it here 
So the next thing you do is to uh, you click on this button at the top right. Look at this button. It's like a SIM card button with a small plus inside that button. This button is called New Order. So you click on this button, New Order, there. So once you click on that button, New Order, it takes you to this place. So this is where you're going to furnish the parameters you want to use to open the tray. This is where you furnish the parameters you're going to use to open the tray. Pa parameters like the the lot size. So this is where you furnish your lot size, okay? So uh, a 0 0.01 is a micro, one micro lot size, okay? Then a 0 0.10 there is a mini lot size. Then 1.00 is a standard lot size, okay? So this is where you furnish the lot size. And of course, this standard lot size means every one peep movement of the market equals ten dollars. Okay, then the zero point one there that is every one peep movement equals one dollar. Then of course, a zero point zero one would mean every one peep movement of the market would equal zero point one dollar. All right. So of course, you can now convert it to your naira. Okay. So you furnish the lot size there, and then you come at the bottom, and from this bottom. After having done your analysis, you analyze, and of course, you have to click either a buy or a sell. But for now, let's click a sell. So order is open here, as you can see. And they immediately to take us to, to take us straight to the the trade uh, terminal here, and of course, you can see the trade running here. Okay, so this is your balance equity of that. So you can see the trade running here. So if you notice this trade is set with a negative value. That first negative you see is called that first negative you see is called the spread. It's called the spread. So so every time you open a new trade, the trade always starts from a negative. Please, that negative is called the spread. Okay. Alright, so what can we deduce from here? So let's click on it so they can see more information. All right. So the price directly below the instrument there, 1.07936. This price is called the entry price. Okay. That means the price you enter the market to sell. Then this other price you can see here is called the market price. All right. The market price. For this sale, the market price has to move below or this price has to be below the entry price for me to be in profit. Then, of course, for a buy, the market price has to be above my entry price for me to be in profit. So, stop loss here, SL, you can see there's no value, there's no price in which means it has not been set. So, this video, we're not covering that. It's in another video. All right, then the take profit has not been set to. This video, we're not covering how to set take profit and stop loss. We have recorded that in another video, okay? All right, so this is how you can place a trade, and the trade is running here. All right. So let's go to the chart and see how this trade is on the chart. Now, from this uh, trade area, you can switch over to the chart by swiping on the trade. That means put your hand above the trade here and swipe towards your left. You're going to see this, uh, this, this tab here. So you click this button by the far right. Okay, so this button is the chart. So it opens you up to the chart. So this is the chart. The, the enterprise I showed you on the trade area is this green dash line so this green dash line is the, is the entry price and of course you can see this blue line and the red line they are the market price so once this market price moves below this my green dash line obviously this trade will be in profit all right so this is what we are covering for this uh this particular uh video how to place a trade of course now let's see how we can do the second one very fast so you to place a trade again you go to the to the market watch all right from this market watch then you're going to look for the instrument you want to trade now let's do one trade on gpus okay on gps so the first thing you do is to open the chart how do you do that you tap on the instrument it opens up this dialog box you click open chart and it opens up like this it opens up like this then from here you want to make your decision whether to place a buy or to place a sell following your analysis remember following the analysis you must have done on it all right so to do that uh to, to analyze the market discover in another video 
All right, so from here, you want to click on this uh, small plus at the top right there. You click on that small plus, it opens up this area. Then from this area, you furnish a lot size for the tray. All right, see this way, you furnish a lot size. Then, of course, you come at the bottom and click either of this. So let's say we are buying this one. So uh, here we have the trade also running. So this is the trade running here. So let me quickly cover, uh, uh, take you through how you can be able to close the trade. Now to close any of this trade, you want to click and hold the trade. So you click and hold the trade. So let's say we are closing GBUSD. You click and hold the trade. It brings up this option. From this option, you can see close order here. You click on close order. Then it takes you to this other screen. Then from here, you click on the, at the bottom here. You see close with profit or close with loss. So once you click any of this this button, whether it is on profit or on negative, once you click, then finally the trade is closed. So we close that one. So let me close the other one. So you click and hold. You click on close order and then you close. It. All right, then thank you very much. So this is how to place a trade and this is also how to close the trade. Thank you. See you in another video. Bye for now.